Wow, what is this place now? A board of the clouds. Picturesque, just picturesque. Hi everyone. Good morning to you from Chirapunji again. I am still at the Hillside View Hotel. The time is 11 a.m. already. It's been raining cats and dogs. Even right now it is raining. It is actually drizzling right now, if you can feel it. Today is going to be a long day, so I was just resting and relaxing and preparing myself for today. If you notice, I will only be carrying my sky bag, a small bag with some clothes for change and uh, of course my Rhinox aqua pouch along with the gloves, the local ones. The sky is just ever so beautiful, beautiful it is. It's been here in the rain for a very long time but still one press and boom that's Honda for you. Leaving from this property now, this is the restaurant, the hotel, my go-to restaurant or hotel. Very nice food, like authentic food, okay? Authentic khasi food. Right now we are headed towards a place called Tarna. The spelling is T-Y-R-N-A. So this is the spot from where the trek for Nongriad begins. Today is the 9th of June 2023 and today happens to be day 12 of my ride. Yesterday, like you know, I did not do a lot of things. I was resting and relaxing and actually preparing myself for this particular trek. So, the thing about this trek, the double decker trek or the rainbow falls trek or the single decker trek or the route to reach Nongriat. Now, Nongriat is a very special village in Meghalaya and it takes some level of fitness to reach Nongriat. If I were to tell you bluntly, there are almost 3500 plus steps and those steps are steep and it's a steep descent and then it's a steep uphill and then we have to return from that route as well. It will take a toll on your knees and it's more mental than physical I would say. So yes, I will be spending the night in Nongriat if I manage to get a homestay which I'm sure because Nongriat has now become commercialized and uh, a lot of homestays are available over there. This is exactly why I brought these pair of gloves. These are my local riding gloves in Delhi. They're pretty nice, okay? I've been using them for almost a year now regularly and they're pretty nice. It's like I don't like riding without a helmet or without a gloves. I at least need these two things. Look at this spot, Babalogo. This place is Molum. M-A-W-L-U-H. This is where Gabby and I came yesterday to have some dinner in the evening but unfortunately we did not get anything nice to eat. The shops here they close by 9pm. Uh, yes, that reminds me, if you are in Meghalaya, see I, when I'm traveling, I like to eat like the locals so that I can experience uh, what they eat, how they live, their lifestyle, their dishes etc etc so for me it's never a challenge however if you are somebody who has a particular taste in food then you know consider twice before coming to Meghalaya because food options are limited you will get authentic food here at most places the food that Khasis eat and that is that which I do not mind at all Tarna is the place from where the trek for Nongriat begins. Nongriat is around 3 kilometers or 3.5 kilometers from Tarna but it takes at least 2-2.5 hours to reach Nongriat because it's a steep descent 3500 plus steps. The same steps will take you around 4 hours when you're climbing back. Let's see how much time we take. I intend to record some places. I intend to make some videos over there so i might halt here and there absorb the nature and reach slowly because i don't have anything to do today apart from reaching nongriat 
I am not sure if I'll be going to Blue Lagoon or Rainbow Falls. So Blue Lagoon is almost one hour trek from Nongriat and uh, Rainbow Falls would be another one hour trek from Blue Lagoon. But those are beautiful, beautiful, beautiful untouched locations. However, uh, you must know that I am on a motorcycle trip. I wasn't planning a trekking kind of a trip. I have done a lot of treks during my young days. Today is the time to test my fitness again. I must admit that I'm not as fit as I used to be once upon a time. However, let's see. I'm riding on the second gear and second gear is all you need on these curves. On Stallion. Wow man. Just wow these curves are. Where were you before? Why did it take you so long to reach Meghalaya? Finally I am here. And I'm just talking to myself by myself about myself. The roads are a little wet here. I just realized that right now. I don't know why. It took me so long to realize that the roads are wet. Stalin has a good grip on wet roads as well. So that shouldn't be a challenge. But your safety is in your own hands. And the farther I am from home, the more careful I am with my riding. Right, Stalin? Stalin says yes. Okay, Stalin. Wow. What is this place now? A board of the clouds. Picturesque. Just picturesque. I hope you are enjoying this view as much as I am. My gosh, what is that now? Can you see those people? Gosh. I'm sorry, I am not one of those people who would stop and, you know, zoom in and show it to you. I'm really sorry. I don't have the patience or the talent to do that, I would say. I love riding. Wow. Man, this is something. This is definitely something. Can you see this part? Wow, man, I'm just so happy. The mountains are all covered by the clouds. The entire route is like this. And it's a landslide prone area as per one of the banners. So I'm riding a little more cautiously. If you love traveling people, if you love nature, if you love these winding roads and curves, you must definitely, definitely come to Meghalaya. Everything is calm here. I cannot hear anything apart from Stalin's music. My gosh, what is this place? Now that it rained yesterday and today, I'm hoping to also see some waterfalls here and there. Zigzag, zigzag. So, Tarna village is on my right and it reads 0.63 km. Wow, we've already reached Tarna. And at this spot, we don't have any entry for heavy vehicles. And here, school kids. School kids of Meghalaya. Hmm. We have entered Tarna. And do we go straight or do we go down? Government of Meghalaya. 
Mushtarna Sub Center, East Khasi Hills. There is a tourist taxi which is ahead of me, and that is going that way. So I'm assuming that the road to Tarna from where the trek to Nongriat begins is on this route. Let's find out. Hello there. The rustic cottage homestay. So they have homestays in Tarna as well. There is a school here on my left. Is it? Yes. Rules and regulations. Thank you. Yes, in Nongriat. Where should I park? Down there. Down, okay. So, take guide from here? Huh? Guide, local guide. No, no, no guide. I'll trek on my own. Local guide, how much is the charge? For the charge? Yeah. Yeah, until the double bridge dropping, up. 700. 700 rupees. And till uh, Rainbow Falls? Rainbow Falls, 1000. 1000 rupees, okay. Take care, thank you. Have to go down. Okay, so this is the spot and I think you heard the entire conversation. I think there's a parking spot over there. Welcome to Tarna Ilaka Tourism. I'm just going to park over here. 